this paddock is a, a section that we bale grazed last year with snow on the ground the cattle didn't get into the soil at all they were always held up by the snow or the ice pack and you can see there's more weeds in it than a lot of our other pastures but those will disappear over time as the forage stands thicken up you can still see some residue left where they bale grazed we were able to graze this area for um, four different rotations this year and so where some of the heavier hay was at there is a little bit of hay residue left. You can kind of see the circle around it. But the cool thing is how well the grass has grown um, with nothing special done to it. And so here again, we're trying to leave a lot of residue so we can put more carbon back into the soil and make everything grow better. So just looking around at this, there's a few thistles and things like that, but like I said, a competitive forage stand will really improve this. So bale grazing has helped our farm immensely. Um, we're upwards of between five and six tons per acre of dry matter in our pastures per grazing season now. And our county hay average is somewhere around 1.8 tons per acre. So there's quite the difference um, in management and there's also quite the difference in yields. So this is free. This hasn't cost us anything except taking a little time to think through the process and make this work.